Hi there. Um, this is Sydney. What I want to talk to you about is called the Farmville Gift Collector. Now, what is the Farmville Gift Collector? Well, normally you gotta play Farmville to be able to use this, and and you're probably gonna have friends send you some gifts. Well, what happens here is when when you're sent some gifts. You normally have to click to accept the gift, and I'll show you how that works. So you click it to accept the gift, and then you just click yes, and then it goes back to they go back to the confirm from the last one that you were just on. Um, uh, it's a little bit slow, but what if you have like several lines of these Farmville gift requests? Well. This is where the Farmville gift collector comes in. And right now I'm logged in at this particular account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the list, okay, just to see the new listing. And you note that there's uh, three lines of gifts here, okay. As you see, it, it matches what what you see here on the on the actual confirmation request list. Now. In order to get the Farmville gift collector, what you gotta do is you gotta go to this website here, nesuno.org. I'm not gonna spell it out for you. Just go to that website. Then you download the tool called Farmville gift collector. Now, in order to use the Farmville gift collector, you must also have the Microsoft's .NET 3.5 framework, okay? That's the .NET framework 3.5. Or this whole thing's not gonna work because I I went through it already. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is once you get all that installed, you wouldn't have a problem working with the Farmville gift collector, and it works with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. And it also works on the Mac if you have, uh, if you if you're able to run Windows XP on the Mac, and it should be it should work too. As a, you you can even run it as a, as a virtual window, or as a virtual operating system through the Mac. Okay, so just to make a long story short, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna demonstrate the Farmville gift collector. Make sure you're logged in with your Facebook account. Then refresh the list just in case there's some more. What I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to select all of these. You can select all of them, but I don't want to select all of them. So if you want to unselect, you just select none. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get three, select these three three lines here so I can accept the gifts. Then I'll click accept selected and and note the window here. It's accepting gift six, seven, and eight. Then once it's done accepting all the checked ones, it will. What it does is it refreshes the gift. As you see here, it's refreshing. Then there it is. There's the new list. And you note that the other three, the three lines that I accepted, doesn't show up any anymore. Now what happens here is. When I refresh this, it's going to ask me to log on. Okay? So, it takes a little bit of time to refresh. But it's going to come up with a login. Well, apparently it didn't tell me to log in. So, so what I'll do here is I'll just go into Farmville. And providing that this thing runs reasonably fast, loads up reasonably fast. And. Now I just want to show you that the gifts are the gifts are already there. Okay, let me get out of there. Let me get out of here. And you see that the gifts are already here, ready to accept. So some of the gifts are already there. So, but basically, I'll leave that up to you. But just remember, Farmville Gift Collector is a great tool if you want to automate the acceptance of gifts. Alright, take care.